talk about the tropics. Now we have two areas of interest we're keeping a close eye on. The first one being Tropical Storm Franklin. Earlier this week it made landfall in Hispaniola by Dominican Republic, but now it's off at sea in an area where there's low wind shear, which that means it's going to begin to strengthen. So you know it is a tropical storm with sustained winds at 65 miles per hour. Sometime tonight through tomorrow, this system will strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane and continue to strengthen to our first major hurricane of the year for the Atlantic hurricane season. Luckily, though, no impacts here at home as this system will continue to stay well offshore. But we will see those dangerous rip currents along the Carolina coastline for this week. And then another area of interest we're keeping a close eye on is this little clusters of storms in the Western Caribbean. This system has a 90% chance of tropical development in the next seven days. So it's going to take this time for the system to develop. But once this system enters the Gulf of Mexico, it is likely to strengthen into a tropical storm. The only uncertainty is which area is it going to go? There's a lot of uncertainty what this system will be heading towards, but let me show you what one model shows. This is the European model of the tropical storm. If this system does develop to a tropical storm, the next name is uh, Idalia. Uh, I was about to say Adelaide, but Idalia. Idalia is likely to develop to a tropical storm sometime into next week uh, by Monday, Tuesday, and then potentially bring us some heavy downpours as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. So rain chances stick around into next week.